Hey everybody and welcome to Minecraft. So today I'm going to take you on a short tour of my Taiga village. And first off I'll show you this this little tree house thing was the first thing I built. Basically as I've been playing this game I've been traveling and Everywhere, everywhere I travel, I'll build a, um, you know, a shelter, just while I'm gathering supplies. Um, but on my way back out here, I decided to go ahead and practice building little modern houses. So this is the first one, and actually the design came from another YouTube video from Pone Zone. I'm not sure if they made this design or if they just showed you how to build it, but um, I added the trim, you know, just to personalize it and give it kind of a unique look. I'm pretty proud of this little house. And I'll show you the inside, it's pretty cool. Just one big room. Uh, I did end up putting an anvil in here. And a bed. So, from there we move on to our second house, and I named all these houses. Uh, this one is the La Luna Suite. So, La Luna means the moon, if you don't know. So, it's a lunar suite. And let's go this way. So I was inspired by another YouTuber who is, he does like 8x8 houses, or 6x6, or 20x20, like he has a whole, uh, and his name is, I, it's slipping my memory right now, but I decided to do a similar thing uh, and built the Prismatic Stellar Suite in an 8x8 format. So I just blocked it off with these bushes and built it. This is my own design. I didn't follow another design. Um, I really like the way it looks with the, the half slab for trim. It really gives it kind of a unique look and it is asymmetrical. Very cool modern design. Hey sheepy. Uh, we'll come around to the front. I'll show you the inside of this one as well. The prismatic stellar suite. Everything's uh, named after space somehow, so it's a pretty standard room. I'll take a little nap so I can show you the other two houses in the daytime. So you can see how the trim intersects, giving me that illusion of the little top window. Um, you know, keep a little. Keep a little bit of coal in the furnace over here, even though I've pretty much moved out of the Stellar Suite. So coming up next was my third tiny modern house. This is also an 8x8, but I didn't even use all the space. Uh, and it is called the Mystic Nebula Suite. And also I rather like this one. Again, it's just kind of a simple design, and I used wool. You might notice all the sheep around here. I just run through the fields and shear them, get all the wool I can, and show you the inside. I actually used the polish uh, stone for the floor. Not much going on in the. Uh, in the box, but it's just kind of a little cool place, and I think it's neat that there's this, you know, I've been practicing building all these things, now there's this little village of them. Pretty cool design on the Mystic Nebula Suite. And this is the last one I have over here so far. It is a little bit bigger. Um, it's actually an 8x8 with a 6x6 tacked onto it. 
the it is called the Casa de los Estrellas, which means House of the Stars in Spanish. And again, asymmetrical uh, half slap trim on it. I'll circle around, you can see the back is pretty much mirrors the front. Um, mostly made out of wool and glass. There's some spruce wood around here. All these trees are spruce. So, I've got plenty of that kind of wood. This is an oak door, just because I like that you can see through the oak doors. Um, so all, all the doors were actually oak. But, see, it's a little bit bigger. A little bit better view of your surroundings in this one. It's not a complicated design. Um, that stone slab kind of bothers me. I could probably just take the glass all the way to the floor. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And... Okay. So... Um, yeah, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with, with uh, all the progress I've made out here. And that is Casa de los Estrellas. So, not too shabby. And it's just cool to me. I mean, my main game is pretty far from here. Um, I'm actually building a rather large uh, modern inspired house back at my, I guess my prime campsite, but out here I have several smaller, I guess, vacation homes just to get away from it all. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching. This is what it's all for. Uh, this is my mansion. I haven't named it yet because it's not quite done. And I will show you around. Um, but it's kind of, uh, it's definitely got modern styling uh, and classical. It's like a merge between modern and classical. Because it doesn't have a lot of the weird shapes just to have weird shapes, uh, at least from this side necessarily. But I love the play of angles. And that is all uh, nether quartz, so it took me forever going back and forth to the nether to get enough quartz. I actually have plenty now, because I just got back. But let's check it out. You can see, the, like, these bars are only or ornamental. It's black wool, uh, clay, and nether quartz. I love this entryway, this overhang. I just wanted it to be really big right here, so you could stand at the front door and just sort of stare off in the distance. Um, and because the hills are so extreme, I built this little ledge to go, ch you know, check it out. But let's go in. We'll go up these stairs, beautiful quartz. Down the stairs on the inside. Uh, I'm not sure what this room is going to be. It's kind of smaller than I thought it would be because of the design. I doubled up on the quartz. <clears throat> uh, the glowstone for lighting. I was thinking about putting like a sculpture in here or something. Maybe some gold blocks just to give it an accent. Um, my fire. You can see here, this room I am not in love with. It needs to be redesigned or remodeled, so I haven't, I haven't actually closed that off yet, because it's not done. Um, but I love from the side of the house, you get these cool angles, this cool play of angles, there's actually a another brick wall up there to give it some contrast. Uh, oops. Sugar cane growing outside to just give it a little, little niceties. I'm thinking when it's done, I'll probably, you know, plop some spruce trees around to give it some just some added natural look to it. Uh, maybe a waterfall coming out from underneath. I don't know. I haven't really... I mean, that was kind of why I went to Taiga Village, was to just sort of not think about this place for a while, because I've been working on it for so long. Um, but one of the cool things when you start working with different shapes just to have different looks is you end up getting letters. Like right here says, ha. 
Uh, before I put the roof on, there was a lot more of this going on, and before I... This had more to it, and it also said something, but you can see. Um, I built a little... Just a little lounge. Maybe if I actually lived here, I'd smoke out here. Um, put a little uh, a black block of glass to mute that light a little bit. I love I love the angles on uh, what looks like the H here and this thing, the, the clay behind it meeting up. Um, so let's check it out. Again, we get the fireplace. I really like how this came out. I used a stone step and stone block. Oops. And it just burns. It's a nice little fireplace. Uh, I'm not crazy about these stairs. You can see this room has nothing in it yet. Uh, I like it, but I don't know what to put here. Um, these stairs, I probably want to have it so that it like loops down. It doesn't take up this entire room. This is the bedroom, and there is an upstairs fireplace as well. I did glass it off. Uh, and there's another little step out balcony. And from here, I can actually jump onto the skylight. There's a skylight. And, you know, just kind of playing with the lines and stuff. It looks pretty good. But I'm a lot more dedicated to this project than all those little ones in the forest. Uh, so, you know, I'm more reluctant to take chances, I guess. And that's why it's fun to go out and play with other things. And that is the house. Now let me go run back. I'll show you. I also built uh, and I followed instructions on you know, from one of the master builders on YouTube to do this redstone project, uh, which is my very first redstone project in survival. Oh. Extreme hills kind of suck. Not all of my weed is finished growing just yet, but I want to show you the main event. So let me get the torch out of there, and I will show you what this does. Automatic wheat farm. Push button convenience for the modern home. Yeah. And it just sends all the wheat and seeds forward where I can collect them right here. And so I can actually make as much wheat as I want. And this farm is pretty sweet. It didn't take long to build. Um, I am up in the mountains, so I had to... I don't think I can get under there to show you. I'll go over. So my the problem I was having was the water was freezing solid. Um, so I what I did was I just stuck a glowstone in there, and that'll prevent it from freezing over. That way you have fresh water when you flip the switch. And just for fun, I'm going to do that again, because it is fun to watch. I'm kind of proud I built this thing. Even though I totally followed the instructions on the internet, I couldn't have done it by myself. But it definitely works. So that's my automatic weed farm. Alright guys, a little bit more work with the half slab. Use some of the, some of the nether quartz I had. And I think this house is just about done. Need to put a door on it, but that's about it. Um, we got this part squared away. Kind of, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I did design it and uh, build it, but I do kind of like it. And let's go in, take a look. I replaced all the. Uh, the stone in the ceiling with the quartz for the skylight. Still not a fan of the way this looks from inside. Um, I don't know exactly what to do about that. Also this wall, I feel like it needs something. So maybe this house is always going to be a work in progress, but for now I'm about to call it quits. 
I think I'll put a gate here, uh, just to keep out anything that might spawn. I don't think anything can spawn because it's lit up pretty well inside and outside. Um, I did hide the glowstone back behind, back behind these stairs. So let's go up top. This room looks pretty good. Well, I already showed you the bevel I put in the fireplace. And we'll take a little jump over here. And check it out. Pretty swanky. I like it. So I think that's going to just about do it for this. Um, well, like I said, it's probably going to look differently in the future. I might go back in and do different stuff with it. But at least for now, it'll keep out the keep out the bad guys and not a bad place to put my stuff. Wow. I'm getting a lot of lag with fraps on right now. So, anyway, 